What is going on, Movie Meals? What's up, guys? How's it been? All right, we are here for Ghost in the Shell. The The month of March has ended for movies. Yep. It's been every Thursday we've been there. Um, we didn't do a review of the uh, anime film, but we did watch it literally right before we went to see this movie. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll be able to talk about adaptations and all that great stuff, but we're going to mainly focus on this film. Kyle, let's start with you because those nachos look good. <laughs> yeah. What right did ahead. you remember about Ghost in the Shell? <laughs> um, all right. So I had, I never saw the anime until today. Like Alex said, we just watched it. Um, and personally, I didn't get a kick out of it. Like I felt myself feeling very bored in the, uh, anime version of it. I felt like it. The pacing wasn't all that great. I felt like it just drug on, and I didn't feel like there wasn't enough that was really hooking me. So I thought, all right, hopefully I won't get that out of this newer version that we have. Hopefully it'll, it'll make my excitement for this uh, franchise a little bit more than what I saw so far. I'm sad to say, though, like for me personally, I wasn't really hooked as much as I would like to, though. But there definitely are positives in this movie. I mean, the visual effects are amazing for sure. Uh, the way that... Mm. The way that they took uh, stuff from the original anime, but also improved and made a few changes of it, I thought was also pretty ballsy. Like, I liked all the different little changes that they did to it as well. Uh, a few of the action scenes I, I thought were pretty good, and as well as the entire environment that they are at within itself. It was this post-apocalyptic type world that they were in that almost reminded me of Blade Runner. I thought it was kind of cool the way that they kind of took from from that as well as from the anime and just made the best of both worlds. So at least visually, this movie was awesome to watch, but um, I'll get more into my negatives on why I didn't personally like this movie as much as I wish I could have. I did like this movie, and I loved the anime film we watched. Mm -hmm. I think you're ridiculous. Pacing <laughs> problems, it's called sometimes you need slow character development to really flesh out people, but no, apparently... Your mind can't handle it. Maybe we should put you in a robot. I'm just kidding. You, your own opinions. Your own opinion. Thank but you, I really man. liked the animated movie. I, I, th I, I really thought it was a very fleshed out story, and I thought this worked well. I thought this was a very faithful adaptation. Um, I thought it it took a lot of the it, they rewrote and took their liberties where they needed to take their liberties, and they gave you the service of of the rem this remake the from the original and they brought it in at, at different points and it flowed and I actually thought it worked really well I thought Scarlett Johansson was killer they had, they actually in the film we're not going to give any spoilers but they do address all the controversy everybody's been saying right um well a lot of people here have been saying I've been hearing a lot that actually a lot of people in Japan including the director of the original film uh, actually, like, I don't have a problem with Scarlett Johansson whatsoever. Like, what is... She's a robot. Like, relax. <laughs> like, and a lot of people are like, no, we, we'd like to see this. So, yeah. I thought she did a very good job. I thought all the acting was good. I actually thought the script was was all right. And and I, I, I really thought it was a, one of the most faithful adaptations of any property I've seen. Especially because animes have not hit on the big screen. No. I'm looking at you, Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> And so I, I did get a kick out of it. I thought it worked. I thought it was just beautiful to look at. Um, I actually thought the action went really well. I, I just I thought all the performances were great. So I enjoyed this film. All right, here we go into my negatives. Mostly, uh, it's almost the same problem that I have with the anime, at least for me. I felt like the pacing still didn't quite nail it like it should have. And you're right, though. Sometimes you need slow pacing to develop uh, characters, so that way you can be... So that way you can like them a lot more. But for me, they didn't. That still didn't hit for me in this movie. I felt like I wasn't connecting with any of the characters. I felt like I just wasn't really caring about what was happening, which is weird though, because I I feel like in this movie, especially when there's things like robots going on in this franchise, you really have to try and make sure that you enjoy these main characters. But for me, with the pacing as well as the way the characters were written in, in itself, I just didn't feel like I was getting hooked, and I was just falling flat on liking this movie. My problem, with my biggest problem with this live adaptation is actually the pacing. I think there are a few minutes it drags on. I completely disagree in the anime film. Uh, in this film, I think there are a few moments where it does drag on because I, I it, it felt like they were like, all right, we're going, we're going, going. Oh, we're going to stop for a little bit. The other one I actually think really works. Um, but that's smaller problems, and I, 
I thought it all looked... There were a few CGI moments, I, for the most part, like, 98% I thought was beautiful. Yeah. There were a few yeah. moments I was like, mm, can tell it's CGI. <laughs> um, but outside of that, I really thought this worked. I think the rating is too low on Rotten Tomatoes for this film. I gotta be honest. Yeah. Gotta give out my real opinion. I think this is a really good look at a great future that we could have one day technology changing so much to the point where what's the difference with robots what is humanity what does it mean to be a human i thought they this just handles that so well this theme and i like it i like seeing this person who's ripped away and put into a, a new body and is controlled and fights against it i like it i like it <laughs> so you like it huh yeah good good for you man um all right so i guess we'll wrap this up with our ratings um i'll go I think I'm gonna have to get this a five out of ten. I wow, think visually, I, I I think visually, it's a really great movie to watch. But overall, though, I wasn't getting hooked on the characters like I really wanted to, and I thought the pacing was really lacking within itself. And um, because of those I mean, reasons, I have to give it a five out of ten. I mean, 10. the pacing you remember when you were awake. <laughs> Well, you, you he have, you snored in the movie you theater. Have we have to I, bring it I up. I was very tired. He got bored. It was a, it was a big day, it and I, I did it. Little guy had a big day. Yeah, little guy had a big day. <laughs> I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. I think this does a very good job hmm. as an adaptation. I thought it worked really well. It does have a few problems. It's what most films do. All films do, really, but... I, I really enjoyed it. It was a good day to watch watch some good movies, especially that anime film. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. And I recommend go seeing this in the theater, too, because it's good to look at. And it's a good movie. <laughs> All right, guys, what did you think? What do you, what do you think of these different opinions? Come on, comment below. Let us know. Also, always subscribe, share, like, give us a big old thumbs up. And as always, Mom, thanks for watching. See you, guys.